In the desolate embrace of a moonlit night, a neighborhood lay shrouded in silence, interrupted only by the whispers of nature. Amidst this eerie tranquility, two figures emerged cautiously from the shadows, bearing with them a small bundle emitting muffled cries of discomfort. With mechanical precision, they deposited the bundle beside a dumpster, a final act of abandonment. The mother, a mere specter of nurturing potential, gazed upon the bundle with a mixture of disdain and relief, devoid of maternal warmth. I can't bear to look at that thing any longer, she uttered, her voice stripped of any affection. Her words, laden with contempt, resonated through the frosty air, colder than the winter night itself. Echoing her sentiment, the father justified their callous act with cruel pragmatism. It's better this way, he murmured, his words dripping with indifference. His heart, hardened by selfishness, saw the child not as a precious life but as a horrifying burden to discard without hesitation. Unaware of the gravity of his abandonment, the baby continued to whimper within the confines of his wrapping, a silent plea for warmth and compassion. Yet, enveloped in their own conflicts and justifications, the couple failed to see him as a human deserving of love. They vanished into the night, their steps distancing them not just physically but also from any remnants of humanity lingering in their hearts. However, fate had a different plan for the forsaken infant. With the night wore on, a wealthy doctor, guided by a flicker of compassion, stumbled upon the abandoned bundle. What he did next would defy all expectations and change the course of the baby's life forever. Alone in the vast expanse of the dark, cold night, the helpless infant faced not only the chill of abandonment but also the indifference of a world he had yet to comprehend. His feeble cries, though muffled, echoed a desperate plea for help, a longing for the warmth and love that the plastic wrapping failed to provide. Meanwhile, in another corner of the same silent neighborhood, Dr. Clark, a distinguished orthopedist, found himself in an unexpected predicament. His cherished car, a testament to years of hard work, lay incapacitated at the mechanics after a collision with a drunken driver. Perfect night for the car to break, he lamented bitterly, his voice laced with sarcasm and frustration as he trudged home in the biting cold, too exhausted to even summon a taxi. As he navigated the desolate streets, burdened by the weight of impending appointments, a sudden cry shattered the silence. Dar. Clark, his curiosity piqued, followed the sound until he stumbled upon a sight that would haunt him forever, a tiny figure abandoned beside a dumpster, swathed in plastic and trembling in the frigid air. The man searched the deserted area for the assailant while whispering an expression of incredulity. He yanked the baby out of the stifling wrapper and silently vowed to protect him by putting him in his coat. When he held the delicate bundle, Dr. Clark's heart broke at the sight of the child's legs, which had a genetic abnormality. This fact provided some understanding of the brutal abandonment, but it did not provide any excuse. Who could leave such a vulnerable spirit behind, he whispered, his voice tinted with fury. They had no right. Dr. Clark's voice was imbued with anger when he looked into the baby's innocent eyes, and a connection was formed instantly. The baby clung to the doctor's coat for warmth, security, and affection, despite his first dread and cold, as if he had found refuge from the world. Dr. Clark experienced a strong sense of assurance as he held the baby in his arms. Their meeting on that cold night had bound their destinies in an unbreakable tie. A whole different story unfolded on that lonely street, which had been nothing more than a way to his lonely home. It was a story characterized by the entrance of a vulnerable spirit who needed him more than anything. Snuggling the baby close, he husked softly, come on, little one, let's go home, as he hastened to get home. The child was now in his care, and he felt an overwhelming sense of duty to provide for him so that he may live a life full of love, care, and opportunity. From that pivotal night onward, their lives intertwined in unexpected ways, embarking on a journey fraught with challenges, discoveries, and, above all, boundless love. Dr. Clark dedicated himself wholeheartedly to little Matthew, raising him with unwavering affection, despite the absence of a biological connection. Matthew blossomed under the nurturing care of his adoptive father, his laughter becoming the doctor's favorite melody, and his bright eyes a constant reminder of the miracle that had united their lives beneath the indifferent gaze of the night sky. 
Even away from the safety of their house, little Matthew faced an unforgiving world. He was the object of constant bullying at school because of his physical condition, which the mean kids took full advantage of. Are you too lazy to run like the rest of us, Matthew? Their mocking laughter echoed through the halls like broken glass when they teased, oh, I completely forgot, you require that humorous cane. Matthew came home one day, his typical radiance dampened by tears, when he was just seven years old. My dad, what makes me unique? Why do the kids at school tease me, he said, his voice quivering with anguish that cut deep into Dr. Clark's soul. These youngsters can be nasty, my son. Aware of his desire to protect his son from harm, Dr. Clark comforted, don't listen to them. His words were carefully chosen. Although he assured Matthew, you're perfect just the way you are, and I love you more than anything in the world, the weight of Matthew's anguish made even his honest words seem inadequate. In spite of everything that had happened that day, Dr. Clark silently vowed when he watched his kids sleep, his countenance calm and collected. He was determined to make a difference in Matthew's life and show the world the amazing kid he knew he was. With unwavering determination, Dr. Clark embarked on a mission of love, hope, and transformation. He explored every avenue, from innovative therapies to technological advancements, all in pursuit of giving Matthew a life without barriers or limitations. Though he knew the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, Dr. Clark remained steadfast in his resolve. Every smile, every step Matthew took toward a fuller life, would be a victory against the darkness that had once threatened to engulf them. As Matthew's eighth birthday approached, Dr. Clark felt a mix of anticipation and nervousness, knowing that their journey was far from over, yet filled with hope for the future that lay ahead. Over the past six months, Clark had dedicated himself fully to raising Matthew as his own son and to a revolutionary initiative that could change the course of the boy's life in an irrevocable way. When Matthew woke up on his birthday, Clark called him into the living room, where a large package was hidden beneath a sheet. Dad, what's this? With a mix of curiosity and excitement, Matthew asked. Unveiling an advanced exoskeleton, a miracle of biomedical innovation, Clark delivered his gift with a hardly controlled grin. It would grant Matthew the ability to walk without canes. Clark passionately said, this, son, is a very special present for you, while eagerly watching his kid's reaction. Where did you get it, dad? The metallic device seemed like something out of a superhero story, and Matthew inquired in shock. Carefully tailored to his petite stature, it served as a symbol of his father's steadfast commitment. With a gentle touch on Matthew's shoulder, Clark continued, a group of friends and I spent the better part of a year designing this model with you in mind. I am deeply convinced that this project would improve your mobility, so I have invested all of my spare cash into it. My son, this will assist you in walking more comfortably now. With tears in his eyes, Matthew stared at the exoskeleton before turning to look at his father. A fresh chapter of his life began to develop at that very moment. Normal walking without a cane will be easier with this, Clark added, his voice betraying his emotions. We just need to undergo a minor surgery to improve your legs, and then this equipment will pave the way for you to walk independently. Matthew felt a mixture of fear and optimism at the thought of the approaching operation. His father's limitless love and devotion had transformed the abstract idea of walking without assistance into a concrete prospect that now loomed on the horizon. In an embrace, Matthew's heart overflowed with appreciation and excitement, when he clasped his father. Thank you, Dad, he cried out, his voice resonating with gratitude. You're the best dad in the world. His expression was one of profound appreciation and love as he embraced the orthopedist tightly, his expression betraying both joy and emotion. Their connection deepened in that instant as they embraced, their embraces brimming with emotion, vows, and dreams for what lay ahead. They had come a long way, baby, from that icy, lonely night to this joyous day of celebration, and it was all because of the strength of their love and their ability to keep going no matter what. At last, the huge day of the procedure rolled around. The operation on the youngster was a watershed moment in the history of contemporary medicine, as well as in Dr. Clark's and the boys' lives. 
A team of esteemed specialists, guided by the compassionate gaze of the doctor, carried out the procedure amidst an atmosphere of hopeful tension. There was an air of quiet anticipation the whole time, from planning to wrapping up, as if everyone were hoping for the best. Upon Matthew's emergence from the anesthetic, the gentle, hopeful light of the morning sun illuminated the hospital room. His father, who had stood by his side all night, held his son's hand and smiled reassuringly. Hi, you're wide awake. You were incredible, my son, he gushed, his voice shaking with passion. After that, it was a period of recuperation and adjusting. After months of development, the exoskeleton, the brainchild of Dr. Clark and his team, was finally prepared to face its ultimate test. A new chapter in the child's life was about to begin on this extraordinary day. Matthew felt an unprecedented feeling of strength and support when the apparatus was fine-tuned to his lower body. With the support of his father and the medical staff, he slowly stood up, pushing himself to his physical limitations with each step. Matthew took his first steps in front of everyone who had gathered, and their eyes welled up with tears. Although they were apprehensive at initially, his self-assurance and power increased as time went on. Without a doubt, it was a technological and scientific miracle. Daddy, I'm walking. Matthew, who had never walked unassisted before, was suddenly bounding about with boundless excitement, his beaming grin lighting up the room. The doctor could not contain his delight when his contagious and uninhibited laughter blended with the happy tears streaming down his chubby cheeks to create the most beautiful melody. There was an unbelievable joy and accomplishment in the air with every step. Matthew hurried over to his father and proclaimed, Daddy, look at what I can do. His father welcomed him with open arms. Son, I know. Clark said, it's incredible, with a glimmer of joy in his eye. The orthopedist then saw that this achievement was merely the first step towards something far bigger. They decided to patent the technology, hoping to aid many youngsters, after being moved by his son's story and seeing the exoskeleton's revolutionary potential. With an eye toward the future, Clark pondered, imagine how many other children we can assist. Their innovations would impact that future. With his self-assurance boosted, Matthew clung tightly to his father. Indeed, my dear father. He made the bold declaration, his voice filled with optimism and resolve, that we will assist everyone. Equipped with groundbreaking technology and aspirations galore, they set out on a mission to create new opportunities, improving the lives of themselves and innumerable youngsters around the world. Matthew's transformation, spurred on by Dr. Clark's steadfast commitment and creativity, went beyond his personal narrative. As a symbol of perseverance and optimism, it served as a lighthouse for people all across the world. Their ordeal was documented in a book, telling the story of a young man who, against all odds, found liberation by taking the seemingly impossible steps. With newfound agility, speed, and the ability to see the world in ways he had never imagined, Matthew threw himself into his new existence with enthusiasm and appreciation. After overcoming his physical limits, he became a symbol of unfaltering bravery and inner power. His father's infinite love and the genius of the exoskeleton that restored his mobility were on full display with every stride he took. Matthew kept going even though he was the target of persistent bullying because of the braces he wore. With his unwavering determination and compelling story, he encouraged others to face their own challenges head-on and look on the bright side. The taunts of bullies no longer had any effect on him, which strengthened his resolve. The comments of juvenile mockery referring to his father as a robot lost all relevance in Matthew's profound appreciation for his father's efforts and new skills. As a result of his incredible perseverance, he developed an outstanding sense of self-worth, which allowed him to make new friends and take advantage of the countless opportunities that came his way when he got older. When he saw his invention have such a profound effect, Clark worked relentlessly to ensure that it might help countless other youngsters who were facing similar challenges. The story of a father's unwavering commitment to improving his son's life has transformed into an inspiration to families throughout the globe. From hopelessness to possibility, from limitation to freedom, the innovation shone like a beacon for his kid. 
The public and the medical community were enchanted by the revolutionary possibilities of this breakthrough, which exceeded Clark's most ambitious expectations. Not only did Matthew gain the ability to move around more freely, but he also maintained his infectious enthusiasm for life. Mountain climbing, marathons, and reaching previously uncharted regions were all things he fantasized about. His ambitions extended beyond just furthering his own career, he also wanted to help the marginalized fight for equal access to medical innovation. Hand in hand, bound by a relationship deeper than blood, the father and son faced the future, prepared to face its triumphs and trials. An inspiration to the power of the human spirit to overcome adversity, Matthew personified the union of love and science with every stride he took. Truly, his experience demonstrated that anything is achievable with resolute resolve. Above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.